World War Z. So I watched World War Z. This is a movie that I have personally been looking forward to for a pretty long time. As you can see, I'm doing a review here. Uh, just going around walking here. Nice evening walk here in uh, Washington State. It's a pretty hot day, but still a good, uh, good time for a walk. But anyway, like I was saying, I watched World War Z, and this is a movie that I personally have been looking forward to for the past year. Been uh, counting down the months looking forward to this movie, and I watched it. And um, honestly, to me, it was a pretty good movie, but uh, in my opinion, it was just another zombie movie. Uh, it said it's starring Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's a huge actor, so it's getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention because Brad Pitt's in it. But it's just another uh, zombie film. It was pretty good. I'm not saying it wasn't good because it was pretty good. But uh, nothing spectacular like I thought it would be. Um, movie gets right into it. They're sitting in their car and all of a sudden traffic stops. A lot of traffic and the next thing you know, cars speeding everywhere. There's explosions. People are getting attacked. So the movie wastes absolutely no time in getting right into the action. It jumps right on into it. And uh, Brad Pitt has his uh, wife, his two kids, and they... Uh, and they end up trying to get away. They're running. Uh, everybody's getting attacked. They get away, uh, hide into a building where they uh, find shelter with another family who is hiding there. A man, his wife, and their son. They're hiding there in their apartment while uh, everybody else in the apartment complex seems to have been dead. Uh, they hide out there for a while. I'm not sure, really sure how long they're there. But it uh, seems like they're there for a while. But uh, eventually they decide, you know what, they're going to head on out, try to get out of this apartment complex because they, they know eventually they're going to run out of food, they're going to run out of water, they're going to run out of supplies. So uh, they decide, you know, they're going to take off, but the family that's inside the apartment complex where they were taking shelter, they decide that they're not going to take off, they're going to stay in their apartment and uh, wait it out. They eventually think this is going to pass through and uh, they will be saved. But Brad Pitt's character, his wife and his kids, they decide they're going to bail. They actually have somebody... Uh, on the way to help them because uh, Brad Pitt's character, he used to work for the United Nations, I think it was, and um, they need his help. So he actually told them where he was going to be at. Helicopter's going to meet them on the roof and they decide they're going to make an escape. But um, other family stays behind. As soon as they leave the apartment, uh, all hell breaks loose. Zombies everywhere, they're in the apartment complex. Um, they break into the home, into the apartment of these people where they had been taking shelter. and. Uh, Mom and dad get killed. It doesn't show them getting killed, but you know that they've been killed. They make it to the roof, and um, the little boy who was in the apartment escapes with him, jumps onto the helicopter. They make it out, and uh, they are taken out onto a boat. Uh, there, Brad Pitt's character. I'm sorry I keep saying Brad Pitt's character because I really don't remember his name, but he is told, pretty much he is told, if you don't help us um, figure out a solution to the problem, then... Uh, we're gonna kick you and your family off of the boat and we will take you back to land where you will be attacked by zombies. So he's pretty much forced to uh, help out in this uh, zombie takeover and uh, figure out a career, figure out a way to uh, get their land back from the zombies who are taking over. Although they try not to use the word zombie in the movie because uh, people are still in denial that the dead are coming back. They At first they just say it's uh, rabies some rabies uh, that has taken over everybody but uh he finally agrees he doesn't want himself to uh be kicked off the boat with his family so uh he decides he's gonna go and uh head on out and uh see what he can do uh there's gonna be spoilers in this review so uh you don't want any spoilers then i guess you uh should probably start stop watching right now but he heads on out and as soon as he uh, heads off the boat he realized this whole zombie craze this whole uh, attack is uh, going on everywhere, not just in the United States, but pretty much just about every country has been uh, been attacked, except for a few. Um, heads on out and uh, sees what he can do. So he ends up getting, to a, uh, ends up arriving in this country. The uh, name of the country escapes me right now, but uh, this whole country has uh, been prepared for this uh, apocalypse that's been going on. They, they knew it was gonna happen. How they knew it was gonna happen, they don't really explain, but somehow they uh, knew it was happening. But So they had been prepared, and in two weeks they had built a wall that completely uh, covered the whole country. And uh, they're using this wall to uh, keep themselves safe 
from these uh, zombies, dead people, uh, people with rabies attacking them. So, uh, but instead of turning people away, they're actually bringing people into the country to protect people from the uh, zombies, we shall say. And zombies. So they're bringing all these people in and uh, people are celebrating, they're singing, a bunch of other stuff is going on. And uh, they've realized one thing that uh, zombies are actually attracted to noise. When there is no noise, they kind of go like into a stage, almost like a comatose stage. But when they hear noise, it wakes them up, and that's what they react to. So all these people are singing and celebrating that they're being allowed into this country and that they're safe. Zombies uh, hear them, and guess what they start to do? They start to climb over the wall, and eventually they make it into the country. That is the uh, what you saw in the previews. If you saw the previews where the zombies are climbing over the wall, almost looks uh, really fake. Uh, there was a lot of CGI in this movie, so uh, but it was still pretty good. So... Uh, they climb over the wall, make it into this country, start killing everybody. Uh, Brad Pitt's character, they make it onto a plane. Escape just in time, just as the zombies are uh, getting to them. Make it up in the air, and guess what? One of the zombies may happen to make it onto the plane. Starts biting people, people on the plane start turning into zombies. Plane crashes, and eventually, guess what? The plane just happened to crash near the facility that they were trying to make it to. So, uh... It's in this facility that they actually end up finding a cure, but uh, it's not easy to uh, get to that cure because uh, guess what? A lot of the doctors have been turned into zombies. But uh, anyway, I won't give away too much. I think I've already given up the whole movie. So uh, if you don't like that, that sucks. I told you not to watch it because there was gonna be spoilers. But as far as what I think of the movie, to me, it was another zombie movie, you know? Either the, it just started Brad Pitt, so that's what uh, what got a lot of people's attention. You had a big actor in Brad Pitt starring in the movie, so uh, that got people excited about it. That caught my attention. Um, big actor, um, thought I'd be good, and it, you know it was it was decent. But I thought it was okay. To me, it was no different than any of the other zombie movies. When I was watching it, it reminded me a lot of uh, 28 Days Later. Uh, that was one of the first movies that popped into my head. Was 28 Days Later, but um. I hear they're going to make a sequel on this one too. Me, my opinion, like I already said, thought it was okay, not great. Another zombie movie, but uh, it just got a lot of attention for uh, because of Brad Pitt. So check it out. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the like button down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. If you saw the movie, check it out. Or if you haven't seen it, check it out. If you saw it, let me know what you thought about it. I have uh, seen a lot of other reviews online. Check those out too. And... Uh, people giving their opinions on the movie and personally you know I, I plan on seeing it again so it was it was good it's not great but good one thing about it is uh, for the for the movie being such a high budget movie they could have done a lot better job with the zombies um, I've seen lower budget movies that had a lot better looking zombies than the ones that were in this movie um, acting was of course great because they had some pretty uh, big actors in it and uh and also just a little a little too much cgi but uh like the whole climbing over the wall thing was a little over the top it was pretty entertaining i'll tell you that much but uh almost seemed kind of like a something they would do in a sci-fi movie but uh as far as acting great too much cgi and they could have done a better job with the zombies